tonight. Tonight's installment, we are showing you around Pendleton and to show you all the things that will keep you on your feet. Things such as the Pendleton Underground Tour, the Roundup in Happy Canyon, the Roundup Museum, Amelie Sabaco, and many more. So, please come along with us on this journey so we can show you around Pendleton how you deserve to be shown. Please enjoy. We are here in front of the Working Girl Hotel, which is host of one of the most famous attractions in all of Pendleton, the Underground Tour. Through this 90 minute tour, guided by a professional, you will learn all about the ancient Chinese opium dens, 18 bordellos, and the Prohibition card rooms. It's one of the best attractions in Pendleton. So good that you need to buy your tickets in advance. The tickets are $15, and unfortunately, if you're six years or younger, you will not be allowed to go. If you ever get the chance to walk Pendleton, you have to check out some of the founding attractions. Behind me, I have Hamleys, which was started by J.J. and Henry Hamley. They set out for Ripton, Wisconsin in 1840, where they started Hamleys originally. Due to economic depression and fire and the loss of Henry Hamley, J.J. ended up moving here to Pendleton and starting Hamleys in the exact building that it's in today. Hamleys is best known for the modified association Brock saddle, which revolutionized the rodeos and allowed for a more even playing field for the Cowboys. After JJ died in 1939, his son took over the business, and then in 1980 it was sold to a businessman from Portland. Since then, it's had uh, a cafe added, it's had the steakhouse added, and an art gallery. And if you get the chance to walk around downtown Pendleton, come into Hamley's, have a steak, a glass of whiskey, and ride off in a timeless saddle. So, we're, we're a few segments into our video, and we've shown you a few, few good things to see around Pendleton. We've showed you the Pendleton Underground Tours, showed you Hamley's. So, Colton, tell me what you think so far. You know, the underground tour, it was very good. But we haven't even been able to see the inside, but from the outside, it looked very professional. Yes, unfortunately, viewers, the reason why we can't show you inside, because on the pamphlet, it's very strict and says that we cannot videotape inside. We tried bargaining with the, the leaders of the underground tour, and they, they weren't having it. They said it would disrupt the integrity of their tour. So, we decided not to. And... Hamleys. It's a steakhouse. It's a saddle shop. It's a leather tanning place. And it's really just anything you can need here in Pendleton on one block. So tell me, what do you think about that? You know, what I really think about Hamleys is the artwork. The first thing that comes to mind is I've been there once or twice. The artwork is super professional. There's huge sculptures of Chief Joseph, one of a cowboy riding a horse, and many more that you can check out and buy. Yeah, and these aren't just any sculptures. They are made out of bronze and silver and high-priced metals. These aren't cheap. These are works of art. So please, we did not show you that, but make sure you make your way down there to check out these huge sculptures of Chief Joseph and even, even a cowboy bucking on a Bronco. And what else? I also have to say, many of those pieces in that place are done by none other than Eastern Oregon's very own artist. Very great point. It's local owned, local operated. Everything there is local. Great place. Thank you. We'll continue with our video now. Class Wool Mill offers two free tours from Monday and through Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. On this tour, you'll get a first hand look at Pendleton Wool Mill's world class weaving process. We the Pendleton Roundup and Happy Canyon Hall of Fame, funded in 1969. The hall includes up to 100 years of rich roundup history, ranging from saddles, clothing, Indian costumes, photos, and firearms, all displayed for your enjoyment. The first inductees were 10 men and five cattles. Since then, each year, new members are inducted by the members of the Hall of Fame. Behind me is the Pendleton Roundup Grounds, which was started in 1910. Since then, it has become the largest rodeo in Oregon. The week of roundup includes a week-long carnival, bull riding, bronco riding, bareback bronco riding, 
and steer wrestling. There's also a tie down roping section. And at the end of the week is a Westwood parade, which includes wagon riding of Native Americans in full costume. Letter book! Short drive outside of Pendleton is the Wild Horse Resort and Casino. Inside Wild Horse is a full array of table and slots in their casino, as well as many restaurants. It also has hotel rooms and two towers, as well as RV park and teepees you can rent. They also have an 18 hole golf course if you want to hit the wings. Back here in the studio is Colton Walker. And I want to thank you for taking a trip with us around Pendleton so we can see Hanley Saddle Shop, the Woolen Mills, Pendleton Roundup, and the Hall of Fame Museum. With many more on display, you can come here to Pendleton, Oregon, see what we have to offer. It's Colton Walker, signing off.